Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be doing a draw my life on the computer, a graphic draw my life. I'm doing a draw my life because I feel like I've had a pretty interesting life and I want to share it with you guys. Let's get into it. I was born on July 27th, 1998. I don't really remember much from the first couple years of my life because I was just a baby back then. My family consisted of my dad, my mom, my brother Jake, my sister Brooke, my sister Jordan, and me. For the first two years of my life, we lived in Florida with my grandparents on my dad's side. That was until summer of 2000 when we moved to New Jersey. Unfortunately, I then started to display some unusual behavior. I wasn't talking at all, I didn't make eye contact, I got bothered by loud noise, which always resulted in screaming and crying, I was very independent and I enjoyed just being repetitive. Basically, I was almost always in my own world. My parents took me to a child psychologist to figure out what was wrong with me and the child psychologist diagnosed me with Asperger's Syndrome. Luckily, my uncle worked with autistic kids, so I started having weekly sessions with him so that he could help me get better. My uncle would reward me with candy when I was good to keep me motivated. When I turned three, my parents enrolled me in preschool for children with special needs. At first, I had severe separation anxiety whenever I would go to school. All day at school, I would really miss my parents and cry for them. In preschool, I not only fit right in, but I became best friends with these two girls who also had special needs, Julia and Allie. I then got my very first dog, a yellow lab puppy named Dugan. Eventually, kindergarten came along, but this time I was mainstreamed, which meant that I was going to be mixed in with all of the neurotypical kids. Unfortunately, none of the other kids wanted anything to do with me because they didn't understand my Asperger's. They didn't want to play with me, they wouldn't let me sit with them, and they were in general being mean to me. Not only did I have a one-on-one -on -one aide all day at school, but I got pulled out of class a few times a week for speech, OT, and PT. It made me stand out among the other kids, which was embarrassing. Other kids made fun of me for having an aide and getting pulled out of class. It was like this all throughout elementary school. Growing up, I really looked up to both of my sisters and wanted to do everything they did. For example, they were both cheerleaders, so I wanted to be a cheerleader too. I asked my parents if I could be a cheerleader, but they told me that I was too young. That was until I turned six and was old enough to join the level one team. I didn't actually enjoy cheerleading, I only did it because my sisters were doing it and I wanted to be like them. Although the only tumbling required on the level 1 team were somersaults and cartwheels, I couldn't do them at all, while a few of the other girls on my team were really good at them. I asked those girls how they did it, and they told me that they also did gymnastics. I then told my parents that I wanted to do gymnastics as well so they signed me up for gymnastics at the same gym my teammates from cheerleading did gymnastics. So basically I did gymnastics with some of the same girls I did cheerleading with, plus a few other girls. I ended up loving gymnastics more than I liked cheerleading because I loved just jumping on the trampoline and things like that. Unfortunately, I was afraid of the balance beam, and I couldn't do any skills other than a somersault. I couldn't do a split, a cartwheel, or a handstand. I still love gymnastics though. When I was around 7 years old, I had a very unhealthy obsession with The Sims 2. I actually did a video about that on my channel. In my free time, all I wanted to do was play The Sims 2, and I played The Sims 2 as much as I possibly could. I didn't want to do anything else. It got to the point where it was distracting me from my schoolwork, so my parents had to take my Sims games away from me, which ended my obsession. I joined a swim team when I was eight, but I didn't really like it, so that didn't last very long. For some reason, 
Every time I was in a class with two teachers, the assistant teacher would always give me special attention. I don't know why. Not only that, but when I was 10, my parents got a divorce. When I entered middle school, I became best friends with a girl named Sarah. She introduced me to her group of friends, and I became best friends with them too. Unfortunately, because I have Asperger's, Sarah and her friends took advantage of me at school by making me do bad things. They were having fun completely at my expense, and I was too shy to tell them to stop. When I turned 13, I joined Facebook and added all of my friends on there. This is when I saw pictures of my friends hanging out together and found out that they weren't inviting me anywhere and completely leaving me out of get-togethers outside of school. It really hurt my feelings that people who I thought were my friends were not only taking advantage of me at school, but completely excluding me. I eventually learned that they were not my true friends and that I should get new friends. On the bright side, I got my dog Lily when I was 12, who was just a puppy at the time. I also really liked my computer teacher in middle school, who's still my favorite teacher of all time. And she really liked me too. I have actually been naturally talented with computers since I was four years old, and she noticed this and was really proud of me. I actually made a video all about this on my channel. I still keep in touch with her to this day, and she is actually one of my only true friends. We actually moved to another part of the state over the summer before I started high school. In high school, I made a lot of new friends. Some of them were exactly like my fake friends from middle school, never inviting me anywhere and taking advantage of me at school by having fun at my expense. The others were really nice to me in school, but outside of school, they never invited me anywhere. I always saw pictures of my friends hanging out together without me on Facebook and Instagram, which made me feel very left out. I was originally going to go to community college after high school and major in computer science because of how talented I was with computers, but I ended up doing really poorly on the placement test even though I did my best. I decided to do vocational school instead. My parents found a local vocational school just for people on the autism spectrum and enrolled me there. I not only took a lot of computer classes there and learned so much about computer science, but I made some amazing friends who also have autism and actually understand me. And I'm finally getting invited places. A couple weeks before I turned 19, I started my YouTube channel, The Aspie Girl, and started making YouTube videos. And I now have almost 3,000 subscribers thanks to you guys. Unfortunately, we had to put my dog Dugan to sleep the day after Christmas, which was very sad. I'm also moving again in a couple of weeks, and that's pretty much my life. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me draw my life. If you liked this video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I post new videos every Friday. You may also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. Also, if you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Thank you for watching. Bye.